Right, we are in our Land Rover Defender and we are going to do some 0 to 60 timings, aren't we, George? Yeah. Yeah, so I've downloaded an app. I don't know if it's any good. Well, I, I read some reviews and said it was sort of okay. So we are going to use this app here, this speedometer one. So we are going to do this test. I'm going to see if it works. Now, we thought, what's going to affect our acceleration? So force equals mass times acceleration, doing a bit of revision for George here. Right, so we've only got the two of us in the car. We've got, we, how much fuel we got? We've got a third of a tank of fuel. So things like this will affect your acceleration. Now, Land Rover claim that our, we have got the petrol two litre, which is called the P300 engine. P for petrol, 300 for 300 brake horsepower, 296, but they've rounded right. up. So we, right, what else did we do? We've got, we've got, we've got a jumper. We've got my very fashionable jumper in the back and we've got our, our, our um, loppers from our off-road adventure but we're generally not got any excess weight in the car we have turned the air conditioning off the ac off that's the thing we'll probably work out if we can get the app working and then we'll try it in sport mode and standard mode and we could try in eco mode as well should we see what the eco let's see if we can get some figures on it right but the first one we've got a nice straight road with an open limit oh right so we're, we're all going Right, so let's have a go here. So let's put it in drive. Now, apparently this, this app should detect. Well, we're in sport mode. Right, we're all clear. Right, now, we're also, we're gonna use the speedometer on ways. So you you won't be able to see my speedometer. Let me get that so you can see it better there, George. Is that better? So you've got that and that. And let's see if this works, right? We're all clear. Oh, that's a much better idea, George. Here we go, now that, now, now they did say this needs to be held flat actually, George, oh. which is gonna poop you up a little, but we'll be all right. So I think because of the way the accelerometer, the accelerometer in the iPhone works, it's better when it's flat. So right, we all set, George. Yeah. You're holding on tight. Yeah. Three, two, one. Whoa, oh, not no, tight. sorry. I wasn't expecting that. Right, what's that done? Oh, 50, we didn't. Right, let's do that again, we're, we're getting better. Right, we're ready again. So I'll just check sure the engine started. You got the app there, George. So we've just played again. So let's go start again. Right, so here we go. We've got it nice and flat in the car. We've got the air con off. We've got everything. We've got no traffic coming. Here it goes. There we go. Did we get the 60 there? Yeah, I think so. In fact, I don't know if we did, George, because I think this is under reading. That's reading, this under reads, doesn't it? So yeah, I was watching when I did 60 here. Um, has that got the actual speed on it now? Let's do a bit of speed correlation first. So if I drive along at steady 36, what have you got on your phone there, George? Well, we've got, uh, while you're driving at 37, this is at okay, 34 yeah. on Waze. Yeah. And this is at 55 kilometers an hour okay. on here. So to get to 60, let me just, just double check if I get to 60 on this speedo. Yeah, what's that on that one? 50, uh, this is 91 miles an hour, kilometers an hour on that. Kilometers an hour, okay. And like 58-ish. So it's not there. quite, so I need to go a little bit higher on this speedo. So I let off a bit early because I didn't want to speed, but that isn't, that's uh, over reading. Right, got it, we'll try again. Right take three so this time i've got to watch my speedo and i've got to go above 60 on my speedo because my speedo is over reading so if i stop at 60 it's not actually reaching 60. so here we go take three george so right let's make sure we're in sport mode right we're all good with well, the engines warm right here we go check the roads clear wait for the engine to start here we go And then, so if we look at the bottom here, we've got miles per hour, 6.6 seconds, okay? So that's not too bad. And what we'll do is we'll do the same stretch of road the other way, in case wind or anything else. Obviously, this isn't very scientific. We haven't got any flash gear. Um, George is telling me that Car Wow use super flash GPS stuff, but we're on a budget here, George. We can't have all that going on. 
But the other thing we're going to do is we're going to we're going to then compare it to the non-sport mode. So right, right, we're all good. Right, we're in sport mode. Right then, are we all ready? We're all clear. Let's give this a go again. Didn't press start again on that. Right, we're in sport mode, everything's ready. Let's let the engine start, here we go. One, two, three. George, will I turn around? 6.6 uh, .6 seconds, seconds again. Again, which is good, that's repeatable, right? We like data. This. So going the opposite way, so if there was a headwind or an uphill or a downhill, we've counteract that. So I think we've got a 6.6 .6 seconds. Now, that is better than the quoted 7.7 .7 seconds that they're quoting. Um, so I guess we're happy about that. Right, now let's try it in... Um, I mean, it felt quite quick. It, it it does kick back, doesn't it, George? It gets to a it's yeah. sort of. So let's let's try it now. Oh, we got someone come to join the race. Don't film them, George. GDPR. Right, we've got it in drive. Have we reset that, George? We've got that all reset. We're all clear. Let the engine start. Take my foot off the brake. Oh, here we go. Right. One, two, three. Again, 6.6 .6 seconds. So that's interesting. So maybe the sport mode doesn't do anything because because I've got my foot to the floor, it's giving us maximum acceleration anyway. So we'll do that. Going back the other way one more time. Right, we're in drive. Going the other way up the same stretch of road. One, two, three. Six seconds. Six seconds. Yeah. So I've shaved half a second off by putting it in normal mode. So there's some variability in this. Um, but I think, right, so I think the next thing to do, George, is to try it in eco mode. So we'll just turn around and then we'll try it in eco mode and see what that does. Right, let's try and select eco mode and see if that does. So if we go on here, and we haven't played much with eco mode. We did do a drive with it the other day. Eco program selected. So we're in drive, we're all clear. All right, engine started. Have we reset that, we'll reset that, yeah. Right, here goes one, two, three. Six point six seconds. Six point six seconds. Mm, so we can, so it looks like if we've got our foot down and we need to get get away in a hurry, it looks like we're okay whatever mode we're in. So I don't know how eco that is, and we'll just do that one more time, the same way the other way down the road again. Right there we go. So we're in eco mode again, facing the other way. Start the engine. All right here we go. One, two, three. Six point six seconds. Six point six seconds. So there we go. A fairly unconclusive. Well, I think we've decided what we ascertained with this little experiment, George. We have ascertained that when you put your foot right to the floor, it doesn't matter if you're in sport mode, drive mode, or eco mode. The naught to sixty is pretty much the same. And using this app, it's six point six seconds. So it's certainly not slower with the available equipment I've got. It does seem that this Defender is, if you put your foot down, pretty quick. So there we go.